Hello everyone, back to today's first video, Dean Jeremy Friday for today's first video. So as always, on a Friday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the uh, coming month. It's going to take us into the middle of March. So we've got high pressure dominating at the moment. Pretty uh, warm spring-like uh, temperatures by day, but quite cold by night. So it is still winter, so it's cold enough for frost and even fog as well. Uh, that's how we're starting off. We'll see what the GMA and CFS V2 models have got to say about weather for uh, the next month. Um, very shortly, just say that day second video update coming up later on this afternoon, we'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. So we'll start with the 500 millibar height anomaly uh, charts from the North Pole view down, looking at the Northern Hemisphere. So this is the North Pole uh, of the Northern Hemisphere, just here. The mid latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere are around there. Red, is, red and orange and yellow are extrapolating to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. So, in the coming week, and these break it down to week periods, the first week period takes us from the 15th through to the 22nd of February. In the coming week, we've got below average heights in the Atlantic uh, to the west of the UK and Ireland, with above average heights over and to the east of the uh, UK. And so the flow and the jet stream going something like that. We place onto the mild side of the jet stream. We'll be drawing the air up from a southerly southeasterly direction. And it's going to be pretty dry as well because uh, we're close to a ridge of high pressure. So a lot of dry and uh, pleasant uh, mild conditions coming up in the week ahead. Uh, week two looks like this. It takes us from the 22nd of February through to the 1st of March with above average heights to the south and to the southeast of the UK. Below average heights are again in the Atlantic just there. It leaves us doing something like that, the flow of jet stream. Just a little bit more influence from the Atlantic, I think, as we're going into the final stages of February. Looks as though we've got a little bit more influence from the west. So particularly the western parts of the country maybe just a little bit more unsettled. But for southern and southeastern parts, I would have thought still a reasonable amount of dry weather even into uh, week um, two. And then we're through to weeks three and four, taking us from the 1st through to the 15th of March. And uh, we've got above average heights here still to the south of the country. So there's a ridge down there. Below average heights are in the Atlantic. And uh, we're bringing in a west-southwesterly flow. So maybe a bit more unsettled, particularly for northern and western parts of the country, the south and southeast, getting the driest of weather and mild. Uh, that's the main message, I think, from JMA. Uh, the JMA model this week will be bring the wind up consistently from a uh, southwesterly direction. So expect mild temperatures through to the uh, middle part of March. No sign of anything particularly cold on this week's update from the JMA. Let's confirm that with the tropical and mid latitude view. So this is uh, showing the British Isles just here in the top right hand of the chart as we're looking at it. Reminder of the week one 500 millibar height. You can't see the pole. That's off the chart uh, up here and Greenland and Scandinavia off the chart up there as well. Uh, reminder of the um, week one 500 millibar height anomaly. So we've got low pressure in the Atlantic to the west, uh, above average heights, high pressure to our east and extending into any central parts of Europe as well. We thought this would probably be bringing up the wind from a southerly direction, so it, looks, so it should be pretty mild. And that is indeed what model is showing. Temperature anomalies are forecast to be well above average, several degrees mild of an average, around two to three degrees above average in the week ahead from the 15th to the 22nd of February. <coughs> Excuse me, week, uh, I'm going to go through to precipitation for week one, and we find that the precipitation anomaly is actually coming out a little bit above average in northern and western parts of the country. It is drier than average to the south and southeast for the central parts of Europe, so it's drier down there, but it does look a little bit more unsettled up in the north and west. Then we go through to uh, week two. It's the 22nd of February through to the 1st of March. Again, we've got the below average heights in the middle of the Atlantic. The above average heights are down to the south and southeast of the country. We'll be bringing in the winds from a southwesterly direction. Uh, with that, temperature anomalies are still much milder than average uh, in uh, the final week of February, well above average, and through many parts of Central Europe as well, looking really mild through there. Precipitation, I mean, it's a little bit more, I said, I do think that maybe this final week of February has a bit more influence 
from the Atlantic. So precipitation is actually going uh, above average, above average rainfall for the final week of uh, February. And then we're through to weeks three and four, which takes us from the first through to the 15th of March. The first half of March has below average heights in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, above average heights across central parts of Europe, to the south, southeast of us, and bringing in those southwesterly winds from off the Atlantic, like that. So temperature anomalies remain much milder than average. This is a very mild update from the JMA model uh, this week. The temperature anomaly is well above average, not just for the UK, but for most central parts of Europe as well. And the precipitation anomaly is still rather above average, actually. So this is like a rather unsettled uh, first half to March with a bit of an Atlantic uh, a bit of an Atlantic flow bringing in those west southwesterly winds, but temperatures are mild uh, from beginning to end with the JMA um, this uh, this week. Let's have a look at CFSV2 and see how that compares. So again, these are 500 millibar heights broken down into weekly periods. The first weekly period will take us from the 1st through to the 20th of March. We have above average heights in the coming week across many central parts of Europe. Below average heights are in the Atlantic. We're bringing up a southerly to southwesterly direction like that. We're close to high pressure, so there should be a lot of dry weather for the south, southeast, a little bit more unsettled in the north and the west, and temperatures will be mild. Then we go through to week two, taking us from the 21st through to the 27th of February, with above average heights then just backing into Western Europe. So we're under a large ridge, actually, in week two with the CFS V2, which is a bit different to what the JMA is showing. JMA rather more unsettled, of course, this final week of February. Low pressure in the Atlantic with the CFS. Jet stream uh, doing something a little bit like that. So um, we close that ridge of high pressure. You would expect this to be very dry and uh, quite warm as well because the air is being pulled up from a southerly to southwesterly direction. That is uh, week three. It's the 28th of February through to the 6th of March. And we find that we have above average heights then centering to the northwest of the uh, UK, but also a ridge is extending down through the UK. So it's trying to get that high pressure up towards uh, up towards Greenland. But actually, we're still relatively mild with low pressure down to our southwest. We're doing something like that with the flow and with the jet. It looks quite cold for eastern northeastern parts of Europe through the early part of March. But for us, we're still really pulling wind in from a southwesterly to southerly direction in uh, week three. And then finally, we finish up in week four, which is the 7th through to the 13th of March. Looking a bit more unsettled then. The high pressure is kind of like over towards Scandinavia. Low pressure is out to the southwest of the country. Much more of an Atlantic influence there. Uh, free week four. So it does look more unsettled um, and quite mild as well with the air coming in still from uh, the southwest. So no problems with temperatures, just turning a little bit more unsettled as we get further into March. Temperature anomalies in uh, week one from the 14th to 20th of February, much milder than average for the UK. Most parts of uh, Europe and Eurasia actually coming out much milder than average as well. This goes on into week two. This is the 21st to the 27th of March, way above average. We're talking about temperature anomalies there of like three degrees or more on the scale above average. So you would say a warm uh, sort of final week to February and in most parts of uh, Europe as well. Uh, then we're into week three, which is the 28th of March through to the 6th, um, 28th of February with through to the 6th of March. And uh, again, much milder than average uh, temperature anomalies way above average again in week three. Week four is up just slightly more on set a week, so it does uh, cool down a little bit in week four. This is the 7th to the 13th of March, with temperature anomalies then beginning to return closer to average. Precipitation anomalies finally, so week one precipitation from the 14th to 20th of February, close to average, a little bit wetter than average to the northwest of the UK. Look how dry it is across most parts of Europe. Then we go through to uh, week two, which is the 21st, 27th of February. Again, close to average. I would have expected this to be significantly drier than average with that ridge more or less centred over the top of the UK. Uh, week three is, again, close to average. I think the signal is weakening now from the 28th of February to the 6th of March. 
And then week four just seems to get back to being a little bit more unsettled this week. Low pressure beginning to come back from the 7th to the 13th of March. It's wetter than average to our south and southwest. And, of course, that trough of low pressure could be bringing in some bands of rain into the UK. Although to the north of Scotland, it does look uh, a little bit drier than average there. I think the CFS is hinting at a more unsettled phase for uh, through the second week of um uh, of March, but between now and then, it looks like we're in for a lot of dry weather, and uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty warm as well. So summing it all up and bringing the two models together, they are differing a little bit about the placement of the troughs and the ridges, how much influence we have from high pressure, how much influence we have from uh, low pressure in the next four weeks. They're all in agreement that the winds are going to remain from a southerly, southwesterly sort of direction, so it will stay mild through the rest of February and into the first half of March as well. Um, probably quite dry as well, especially uh, through the rest of February, maybe turning a little bit more unsettled as we get further into March. And nothing at all to go at if you're waiting for some uh, cold weather for the latter part of the winter. It looks like we're in for an early spring if JMA Friday is correct this week. Bear in mind these long-range long range models have been performing very poorly uh, this winter, so it's just a snapshot of what the models are showing today. They could look very different uh, next week. Come back later on this afternoon. We'll have a look at weather for the next week to 10 days. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.